Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanner Man, and this is my little corner of the internet where I like to play with makeup. I like to vlog and take you guys with me whenever I go places. I like to just shoot the bowl and talk to you. This is just my place where I can talk to you. And I have been a little absent, but I'm getting back on the grind, I promise. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for clicking play. And let's go ahead and play with some makeup. Today, I want to show you my review, a look on the Mellow Cosmetics Treasure Chest Palette. I'm gonna show you some swatches. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, how it performs. This look right here, which is a halo eye with a little bit of darkness, a little bit of glitter on the inside. And I'm feeling very fally. So I wanted to do something a little bit darker. I'm gonna link everything I use down below, but I'm just excited that you're here. So it's just been like crazy busy lately. My mom is coming this weekend, which I'm super excited about. I was in Florida last weekend. Chandler hasn't been able to drive because, guys, mini story time. When we moved to North Carolina, well, before we moved, we switched our insurance to North Carolina, still had Florida license. I don't know all the details, but anyways, Chandler's license was suspended without them even telling us. So we go to the DMV to get new license because we live in a new state. We wait for five and a half hours and they tell him he cannot, they tell him that he cannot get his license because there is a little bing on it. So he had to call someone. They said your license is suspended. He has to mail in his license plate. They tell him he can't drive for two plus weeks. I've been having to take him to work. It's just been a disaster. So it's been crazy. But you know what? I am just thankful that one of us was able to get a license. I don't know how I could and he couldn't, but praise the good Lord above that I was able to because if we both couldn't, we would just be SOL. But anyways, that was my mini rant. Um, I'm really thankful that you guys are here today and let's go ahead and get into everything and let's do it. Start out by talking about the Mellow Cosmetics Treasure Chest Eyeshadow Palette. So this is the palette and I put on my Instagram story asking if you guys wanted to see a look with, I think it's called the Sinopia Palette or the Treasure Chest Palette and it was very close, it was like 50-50, but the majority said the Treasure Chest Palette so that is what we're gonna do today. I'm thinking we're gonna do kind of like leaning towards fall because this lip is like inspiring me to do more of a fall look. So I'm super excited to do that. So I wanna go ahead and just show you the palette up close and show you some swatches on my arm and go over the names. And then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and get started on the tutorial. I hope this is close enough. I don't know, do you guys, let me know in the comments if you like when videos are closer up to the eye whenever it's like doing the tutorial or further back so that you can kind of see my whole face. What do you like better? So this palette is mostly warm. It does have some cool tones in there. It has four mattes and eight shimmers. And I wanted to show you how they swatch on my arm from left to right. So you have the top row here and the bottom row here. So we have crystal, topaz, amber, rose gold, tiger eye, pearl, amethyst, smoked topaz, rhodonite, garnet, smoky quartz, and onyx. I, onyx? I don't know how to pronounce it, but I wanted to show you how they swatch on my arm. This is a very beautiful palette. It only retails for $22. Let's go ahead and see how they perform on the eyes because that's really what matters. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the palette and we are going to, I think I'm gonna do a halo eye today. And so I'm gonna start with a transition shade, do a little darker on the, <coughs> oh my gosh. We're just gonna go in. And I am first going to go in with a transition shade called Tiger Eye, which is this shade right here. It's that taupey perfect transition shade. And we're just gonna blend that into the crease so I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics brush. I always use this brush to blend my transition shade because I feel like it's so big and just pretty and puffy and and I need to clean my brushes. Is anyone else like really bad? It's like such a hassle to clean brushes and it's so necessary, but it's such a hassle. I wish I could just pay someone to do it for me. With my transition, you guys know, I am so messy with it. Like I just put the brush down and as long as it's blending at the top and giving you that nice gradient look, then you're Gucci girl or boy. All right, so now that it is blended up there, I'm gonna go in with a darker shade on the inner corner and outer corner. So with a halo eye, you do it darker on the inner and outer and then you do a lighter color on the inside. So I'm gonna leave one of the shimmers for the middle part. But for the inner and outer, 
I am going to go in with this shade called Onox or Oaks or whatever this dark shade is right here. That's what I'm going in with. And I like to take my pencil brush and dip it in. And so really placing, because it's so precise and picks up a lot of color, I like to place it and then blend it out. So I'll place it on that inner corner. By the way, this palette retails for only $28. And these shadows so far are extremely pigmented. Mellow Cosmetics, if you guys haven't heard of them, they are a very affordable brand, which you guys know I love. So you can get quality for a good price and you know I'm all about it. So now I'm gonna go in and blend those out. I'm gonna go in with the transition shade, the Tiger Eye, just to give me a little bit of help. So the key with these halo eyes are to be patient and place the color down, blend it out, place more color down, blend it out until you get your desired color. So you see that middle is still open, but now I'm gonna go back in with my pencil brush and do the exact same thing. Like I said, place the dark down again and then just blend it out again because I would like it a little bit darker. I'm liking the way that that looks. Now I think I'm gonna go in with this shade called Smoke Topaz. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. Um, I little on my finger and then just dabbing it on the middle of my lid, just kind of spreading it out. And then with my finger, I'm gonna pick up that smoked topaz color. Oh yeah, wow. That's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. That color is insane. If you want, you can go back in with the brush that you use to kind of blend out the dark color. And you can just kind of tap those edges just so it's a nice gradient look. I like the way that the top looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lash line. So with a halo eye, with the bottom lash line, you just do the exact same thing that you did to the top. So I'm gonna go in with that dark color, place it on the inner and outer, and then put that um, metallic shade right in the middle on my bottom lid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero, which is just black, and put that in my waterline. From here, before I do lashes or anything, I am going to put a highlight shade on the inner corner and on my brow bone. And I'm using this shade called Crystal, which is a very white shimmery shade. So let's see what this looks like. I hope it's blinding. Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. I'm super happy with the way that this turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye off camera and I will be right back um, with lashes and everything so we can talk about everything. So I will be right back. So I went ahead and did this eye and did my lashes off camera. This is the final look. So I'll go ahead and close my eyes, show you. So again, it is a halo eye. This was the fastest, easiest way to do a halo eye. So all you have to do is just blend, place that dark color, blend a little more, put some glitter on, you're good to go, girl. If you wanna sit down and do your makeup while I'm doing this step by step, that's what I like to do. It is always so helpful to see someone else do it. It's a nice little touch to add the glitter at the bottom lid right in the middle. I don't know, when you're looking at someone, you're like, you have glitter on your bottom lid. That looks good, girl. This is the Mellow Cosmetics palette, the treasure chest palette, and it is full of treasure, honey. I mean, I love this look. So I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. This is my first time using it. I have not used it at all off camera. I wanted to open it, use it with you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I am going to link everything that I use down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me, email me, you know how to reach me. I'm all over the place. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. There are more coming this week. And go ahead and give this a video a thumbs up if you loved it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.